guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna be shifting gears a little bit and doing something a little bit different and we are going to be making cupcakes in a jar. I was on Etsy last week and I was looking for some other things and the cupcakes in a jar popped up and I thought they were so cool and they looked so delicious and I thought, well, why can't I make some? And I also have a ton of leftover ingredients from the last couple of cupcakes that we've made. So I figured this would be a great way for you to use some leftover cupcakes if you have those as well. So we're gonna be making four different cupcakes in a jar today using some leftover ingredients and some new ingredients to just switch them up and make these cupcakes extra exciting. So let's get into it. So we're gonna be starting off with a cookies and cream cupcake in a jar. And I'm gonna be using these eight ounce mason jars basically. I honestly did not look in store for them. I just bought them off of Amazon um, because I had some mason jars at home, but they weren't exactly the size that I wanted. So I just looked up jam jars. These popped up, which were really what I was looking for. Um, I will put a link to them in the description if you want to find these. It did come in like a pack of 15 though, so unless you need a lot of mason jars, check your local grocery store, see if they have it the size that you want. But I'm basically gonna just start out with prepping everything we need for this cupcake. So what you guys are gonna need our chocolate cupcakes. I'm just gonna start with one and see if that's enough to fill the jar. I've never made these before, so I don't know if it's gonna need more than one cupcake. I am using leftover cupcakes from last week, which are just cupcakes made from a box to mix. I'm pretty sure I used the Dunkin' chocolate or Devil's chocolate devil's food cake, I'm pretty sure is what it was. Mix, you can use whichever one you want, or if you're not even in the mood to make cupcakes, then you can definitely just go to the grocery store and pick up a pre-made cupcake from the bakery section and then just scrape off the frosting and then, you know, use that for later. So, cupcakes, and then I'm gonna be crushing up some Oreos. I'm also gonna be using some Dan's cream cheese frosting and also some chocolate syrup for a nice little topping on top. And last but not least, some chocolate pudding. This is just leftover from last week. All it is is just instant pudding, milk, instant pudding, mix it together, you're good to go. And that's all you need for this first cupcake. All right, so I wanna start off by just slicing my cupcake. So I'm just gonna try to get about three layers out of this one little cupcake and then we'll determine if we need more or not. And I'm gonna set this aside so that we can get our rest, the rest of our layers ready to go. So I wanna crush up our Oreos because I wanna add it to our frosting so that we have more of like a cookies and cream frosting, but I also want some cookie crumble to put on the top at the very end. So you can go about this two ways, really. You can either throw this in a blender or a fruit processor, and that'll actually make some really fine crumbles, which would be great, but maybe you don't have a blender or fruit processor or you're lazy like me and you don't want to have to clean your blender. Then you can also just throw these in a plastic baggie and then just smash them either with a rolling pin or a spoon or whatever you really have to kind of crush up those Oreos. Just be careful if you are, if you do plan on putting your frosting into the piping bag, you want to try to get the pieces pretty fine. Otherwise the pieces could get stuck in your piping bag and then you're just gonna end up with one big mess. All right, so I want to make like a cream cheese Oreo type frosting to add to our layers. So I'm just using the canned cream cheese frosting and I'm just gonna scoop in, honestly, I don't know how much to do, but we're only making one. Obviously, if you're making one for a group of people, you wanna use more. So I'm only gonna try to use about a fourth of the can of the frosting. And then I'm also going to add in some of the Oreo crumbles that we have. I'm just gonna add it in slowly because I don't wanna have an overwhelming amount of Oreos to cream cheese frosting. So, and then I'm just gonna use my mixer. Obviously you can do this by hand, but I'm lazy and I don't wanna have to stir. So I'm gonna use my mixer to blend this all together. All right, so we have all of our ingredients here and now it's just time to layer everything in the jar. So I think I'm just kinda go, gonna go with like a systematic kind of pattern here. So I'm gonna start with the cupcake, then put in some chocolate pudding, put on some frosting, and then I, crushed up way too many Oreos, so I am gonna sprinkle some Oreos in between each layer as well, and then just stack them up until we get to the top, and then I'll just finish
chocolate syrup frosting and a little bit of a chocolate syrup drizzle. So let's get layering. cupcake which is going to be a chocolate covered strawberry cupcake in a jar and I've already pre-prepped all my ingredients because they're all pretty straightforward so again we're going to use the chocolate cupcake we're going to be using chocolate pudding again which is just the leftover instant pudding I'm using canned buttercream I did cut up a couple little chunks of dark chocolate and then we have some cut up strawberries and then we also have our Bailey's strawberries and cream mousse that we made for our love potion cupcakes and i was going to put this in a piping bag but it's so like you can tell it's just so soft it never firmed up so it literally just like, fell right out of the piping bag so i'm just gonna spoon that in our jar instead so like last time all i'm gonna do is start layering up sprinkle of some fresh cut strawberries. I just thought this would add a nice little kind of cut to the flavors, I guess you could say, because we're having so much chocolate in here and the only other strawberry is the mousse. I really wanted to make sure that you got the flavor in there of the strawberry. And then I'm going to top it with some of our buttercream. last finished touch I just halved strawberry this is of course if you're gonna be giving it fresh if you're gonna be giving it as a gift probably don't put this strawberry on top I'm going to just squish this strawberry on top with a little bit of chocolate syrup obviously this would be better with melted dark chocolate but I was just feeling a bit lazy there we go with our chocolate covered strawberry all right, so we are on to our third cupcake, which is going to be a chocolate and peanut butter cookie cupcake. So all that I have here, this one's gonna be really simple. Again, we just have our cut up chocolate cupcake, canned buttercream, peanuts, and then crushed nutter butters. The way I'm gonna do my layering on this one is pretty similar, except since we don't have like the chocolate pudding or mousse or anything like that, I am going to start off with the buttercream. So we have our cupcake. Now we're gonna put in our buttercream and I'm gonna be a little bit more generous with the buttercream than I kind of was on the other cupcakes because there was a lot more filling and frosting type ingredients, I guess. So, but this one, I wanted to make super peanut buttery and I thought initially of putting, of just mixing together the frosting and then some peanut butter, but I was worried that doing that with the peanuts that it would be too much. And I wanted to put actual peanuts in here because I wanted to have a really good peanut butter crunch. I wanted this to kind of feel like you're eating a peanut butter M&M, which honestly, I don't really love peanut butter M&Ms, but that's kind of what I'm going for. So we're just gonna keep doing our layers like always. And this time I'm not gonna put peanuts on top. I'm just going to sprinkle the rest of our Nutter Butters on top. And there we go. This is our chocolate peanut buttery cupcake in a jar. All right, we've made it to our final cupcake in a jar, which is going to be a chocolate chip cookie dough kind of cookie. So again, we have our chocolate cupcake we have our canned buttercream. I brought out our chocolate chunks again. I crushed up some Chips Ahoy cookies, and we have these here. Now we are gonna add a special element to these ones because I wanted to add like a cookie dough kind of aspect to it, but I didn't want to just buy new chocolate chip cookie dough when I did have sugar cookies 
which I mean, I'm not a cookie expert here, but I kind of feel like a sugar cookie plus chocolate chunks will basically make a chocolate chip cookie. And these pieces of cookie dough are safe to eat raw. So make sure when you're looking for your cookie dough that it is safe to eat raw. So again, we're just gonna layer up. Like always, we're gonna start with the cupcake. So this time we are gonna put our little piece of cookie dough in there and I'm just going to kind of flatten it a little bit with my fingers, drop it in there. And then add in some of our chocolate chunks, try to space it out if you can, like so. Then I'm gonna put on our buttercream. And then I'm going to layer in some chocolate chip chunk pieces in there. And then we're just gonna repeat the pattern till we get to top. horrendous <laughs> buttercream. We're just gonna roll with it because we're gonna cover it with cookie chunks anyway. Voila, we have our chocolate chip cookie dough cupcake in a jar. Okay, you guys, so we have finished baking our cupcakes in a jar. And you might notice that I am missing the Oreo one from here. I gave it to my boyfriend to taste test and he devoured it. So they have been approved. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below for which one you are most excited to do yourself and try. I hope you guys do try these cupcakes in a jar because they were so easy to make like if you have any sort of event coming up if you wanted to make your friends or your significant other something special if i don't know if you're single and you just want to make them for yourself then go for it there's so many different variations you could do with these so many ways that you can make it easier or more from scratch just depending on what you prefer and how comfortable you are with baking but I am really proud of these. This is my first time ever trying to attempt to make a cupcake in a jar and I'm pretty proud of how they turned out. And I hope you guys are too. So thank you so much for watching and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on next week's cupcake creation. I'll see you then, bye.